In class activity one, design a lead compensator for the control system with the following open loop transfer function to have a static error constant KV equal 20 and at least a 50 degree phase margin. G of S is equal to 4K over S times S plus two. I've given an example of the answers here so that we can analyze the plots before and after compensation. Step one is to determine the gain K. So recall that KV is equal to the limit as S approaches zero of S G of S or the limit as S approaches zero of 4K over S plus two and we need to design so that that equals 20. So 4K over two equals 20 or K is equal to 10. Step two is to create the Bode plot for K equal 10. And here we have the Bode plot we've created using a gain of K equal 10. So step three is for us to find the gain crossover frequency and the uncompensated phase margin. The gain crossover frequency is right around six radians per second. You can also get that from MATLAB. And the phase margin at that point is 18 degrees. So here we have the 18 degrees and here we have the six radians per second, which is omega GC and PM. Step four is to find the compensator phase angle. So phi sub M is equal to the desired phase margin minus the uncompensated phase margin plus our five degree correction factor or 15 minus 18 plus five, which equals 37 degrees. Step five is to find the attenuation factor. The attenuation factor is alpha is equal to one minus sine of phi over one plus sine of phi. And we get that alpha is approximately 0 0.25. Step six is to find the magnitude on the Bode plot where the phase angle is going to be maximum. And this is equal to one over the square root of alpha or two. So the frequency we're looking for on the Bode plot would be omega sub m when the magnitude is equal to 20 log base 10 of one over m or 20 log base 10 of one half, which is equal to negative six decibels. So when we look at our plot, negative six decibels is approximately here. That's one over M in decibels. And that occurs at about nine radians per second, which is going to be omega M. Omega M is equal to nine radians per second. Step eight, now we will use omega M to find the lead compensator corner frequencies. So T lead is equal to one over omega sub M times the square root of alpha. So T lead is 0 0.22. Step nine, we're going to use T lead in order to find the zero and pole for the compensator. Z lead is equal to one over T lead. So Z lead is equal to 4.5. P lead is equal to one over alpha T lead. P lead is equal to 18. 
So, so far our compensator, GC of S, is equal to the gain KC times S plus 4.5 over S plus 18. And finally, step 10 is to find the gain on the compensator. KC is equal to one over alpha or four. So our final compensator is four times S plus 4.5 over s plus 18 and the last thing we should always do is to check our work so we're going to do this by examining the Bode plot and the step response for this system first let's look at the compensated Bode plot so this is gc of s times g of s and we use this to check our phase margin and what you should see here is that we do indeed now have a phase margin of approximately 50 degrees, and it's pretty close to where we had our omega m, which was nine radians per second. So here what you see now in the shape of our Bode plot, there is this hump here, and that hump represents where the addition of the lead compensator was. And we also had a KV of 20, this is actually simply our step response, but you can see that we do have a zero steady state error here. And if we wanted to see that the KV was 20, we would have to plot the ramp response as well. Okay, here is the MATLAB plot of the unit ramp response for the compensated and the uncompensated system. And what you should see here is that the uncompensated system actually doesn't track the ramp very well. But the compensated system actually not only tracks the unit ramp input, but it has an error of 0.05, which would indicate that KV is equal to 20.